All right, cheers, wherever you are in this uh, vast world. What's up? What's happening? It's your man, Tone Space, a.k.a. Poets Kane. You know the name is just an anagram, so it's all the same. I just thought of that on the top of the head. I got to remember that. That's a good catchphrase. Anyway, um, I'm just testing my little thing out. I got my little system back up. I kind of like mm, busy running around and whatnot. Oh, excuse me, but yeah, we're getting this money. It's time to start getting this money, man. Shout out to everyone that get is getting this money three Four year ago, YouTube channels, hundred thousand dollars. I mean, hundred thousand subs and thousands of dollars like that, and all that doing your thing. I am getting that. I am getting to that cash now. JG Wentworth style. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, I think the brunt of what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be on Rumble, so I have the link to the Rumble channels, Poets Kane Rumble channel, and Battle Rap Live, which is gonna be the venue having people going back and forth, getting ignorant battling each other you know rumble doesn't have the the guideline rules and everything you know you could let them hang you know what i'm saying you could do, or whatever the women's version of that you could do all of that shit right so anyway um while testing this out i figured i might respond to something you know um i've been staying out of the little back and forth small enclave as i call it youtube section nonsense it gets boring it's the same old shit all the time right so i've been staying out of it but I mean, if something is intriguing and something uh, catches my interest, that one of them people say, yeah, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I might want to delve into that. Every now and then, this one dude, he be spitting some some interest interesting stuff for me to look into, right? So I heard him on his regular thing, thing he's been doing for practically ten years. He's definitely a pro at it. He's got his ten hours, ten thousand hours in talking about one person. He's a veteran. He's nice at that right so um you know he's been um wasting his years away doing that so uh but it's one thing that he said that's interesting in uh you know in, in in movement of trying to talk about some other cat he said that um well according to him according to what he looked up he said that he found 30 to 50 percent of the world's population does not have an inner voice as the process in which they uh, manifest their thoughts, you know? So if you do have an inner voice, basically essentially thinking in your own voice. Like if um, I'm gonna go outside and do something today, my inner voice, as I'm one of the people that does have an inner voice, it will narrate that. You know, it's like your own personal narrator talking to you, telling you what to do, right? And um, so I found that interesting. He said 30 to 50 percent of people do not have that inner voice in the manner in which they uh, get their thoughts together and, and proceed with it. Right now, just just to say it off the rip, if you're one of those people that does not have an inner voice, that doesn't mean you're stupid. You might even be of a special class on some higher stuff, you know, because you, you are still a thinker. It's just saying that you don't think in that way. Maybe you do it in pictures. Maybe you do it in symbols. I don't know. I'm a voice guy. I mean, I'm also a picture guy and more. But primarily, I've got the tone space uh, narrator, you know, walking me through this uh, beautiful life. You feel me? So he said 30 to 50 percent of people do not do that. So, of course, I'm going to look that up myself. Right now, I think I may know where he got that uh, figure from, because the first article I found covering that. It sure enough did say 30 to 50 percent of people um, do not have an inner voice in the way that they organize and convey their thoughts to themselves. Right. But then I look a lot deeper. I wanted to, you know, get to the science of it and stuff. And I, to be honest, I still haven't totally vetted that statistic and that uh, thing going on or whatever. But I did find several more sources that actually said the opposite. It said that 30 to 50 percent of the world's population does have an inner voice. So now what I'm about to show you is a poll that I made. And, you know, please get on this channel, hit this poll. Let me know what you think. We'll leave it in the comments below. Right. But I got to the poll. Oh, yeah. I gotta, and I'll read it to you. So in the poll, I say. Someone recently said something brow raising that 30 to 50 percent of people do not have an internal monologue, meaning they don't think in their voice. Essentially, they do not talk to themselves as a mean to pro means to process thought. Intrigued, I looked it up, finding that it's actually 30 to 50 percent of people that do have an internal monologue, meaning up to 70 percent of people 
don't think through this process. Personally, I do have my voice talking to me all the time. What say you? Feel free to expound in the comments. Give it some thought. However you go about doing that. And I got three options. I have number one, you process your thoughts with your own voice talking to you. Number two, you process thought with a voice that talks to you, but not necessarily your own. And then number three, you process thought without a voice talking to you. You follow me? Right? So, um, so he decided to, uh, get up and I'm not even going to put that on the, on the screen, his, uh, community post thing, but I'll refer to it real quick, just so I'm thorough and, you know, talking my little talk in this little test, right? Let me go to this guy's channel here, Psychotic Logic, if you're interested in, uh, psychotic things and <laughs> combined with logic then uh check out necro's music it's uh psychological records he's melded that decades ago but if you want to hear you know uh, uh, an offspring of that go to psychotic logic right okay so then the host of psychotic logic mr monstrosity let's see if it's still up he gets on a community post and says there's some idiots in the world. I said there are 30 to 50% of people who do not have an internal dialogue. An idiot has to investigate and says there are 30 to 50 who do have internal dialogue. Uh, I guess you can't do simple math. Now, I'm admit, I don't totally know what the heck this guy's even getting at by trying to say that my math is off or what I said is idiotic. But I took a guess at the closest thing that I thought that he could mean, and I'm going to refer to my reply here, right? So I write back, the 50% mark would make each di direction interchangeable. Meaning, if the statistic said 50% of people do not have an internal mo uh, monologue, and then I came back and say, oh, well, I found it said 50% of people do have an internal monologue, right? Then it wouldn't matter because it's 50%. So it could go in either direction. Both of those can exist in the same space. They would both be right, right? But then I said, but the potential minimum max amount of 30% brings relevance to which assessment is true. Right. You said 30 to 50 percent of people have no internal dialogue or internal monologue. Right. Same thing. That would mean that potentially 70 percent of people do think with an inner voice, meaning if, um, you know, it, it's a range 30 to 50 percent. So if only 30 percent of people have no internal monologue, then that would mean 70 percent of people do have an internal monologue. Right. So I said, I found several sources that say 30 to 50 percent of people have an inner voice, meaning that if the amount, the percentage of people with an inner voice is on the low side, 30 percent. Right. Then that would mean that 70 percent of people do not think in that way. It makes complete and perfect sense. Um, he did a live stream. I think a day after that with my name in it and the words for me. And then he took it down. I mean, I, I didn't watch it. I was busy on, you know, Father's Day type of time doing stuff. But um, so I was going to go back to it a little later after I was doing what I was doing. And he had taken it down. I guess just assuming I'm watching every move and, <laughs> and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. But I did click on it once or twice. And it was the condescending, grumpy man voice and this and that. And I looked in the chat room. And then he um veered off, I think, to... uh what he's an expert in, what he got his 100,000 hours in on doing, talking about the other guy, um, reflective of what the comment section was saying and stuff. So, so I don't know. But I think what I said makes perfect sense. If it was 50%, then 50% do, 50% don't. But being that there is a 20% range and that the people that you say uh, do not have an internal monologue can potentially be 30%, then that means 70% of people uh what you call it do not have it where i found several sources that just said the reverse 30 percent of people um potentially as little as 30 percent of people do have an internal voice which would mean the ma vast majority do not 
So anyway, I'd like to know what y'all think in the comments about that. I'd like to know what y'all think. If you can decipher his supposed logic in him coming at me on some whatever, whatever. I'm not even trying to come at him on some other shit. That's kind of why I just responded on some uh, cool shit. Because I ain't interested. Niggas, it's boring, man. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, subscribe, please, to the joints below. Battle Rap Live, Poets Kane on Rumble. Um... All types of fly stuff going on. But yeah, tell me what you think about his logic, if you have any idea what he was talking about. And then leave your comments on mine. I think it's it's simple. I'm not breaking anything complex down. I think it's pretty clear uh, how the maths work and everything. I don't know. You know, motherfuckers, it's crazy. Uh, I might come back a little later and uh, talk some more shit and put some sound in there so I make sure that the sound thing works. All right. Peace.